Hello guys, and welcome to the first video of this Let's Play. So, here we have Supremacy 1914, the world map they recently created. I like this map. I, I think this is, this is a uh, great map, but as for the entire game, there are problems everywhere, as every game has, but overall, it's good. Other than, you know, when you try to scroll through the freaking map, it selects wherever that was. So, I, father of Germany, or Fog, am playing Vietnam. We have friendly relations with Malaysia, played by Rick Wong. India, played by who? Mahdi, I think. Yeah, maybe. No. Don Viswanath. If I got that name wrong, I apologize. And currently, India, Vietnam, Malaysia, and. I do believe Pakistan and Italy, which we also have friendly relations with, have growing concerns over Myanmar or Burma. Reason being, reason being, this province right here. This province, in real life, is a part of India and disputed between China and India. Well, in this game, it has been given to Burma, although now that has created tensions with India and Burma. Burma also has voiced opinions, or uh, not opinions, but wishes to split Thailand, which is not played by anyone, between myself, Vietnam, and himself, Burma. Burma is played by Klosa. So, this has created even more tension between India, Malaysia, Italy all the way in Europe, and myself, Vietnam. A-S-E-A-N, which is made up by these nations right here have been discussing together on ways we can bring the situation here to a peaceful solution India definitely would like to have this province back and all of the nations here wish for the military junctas or juntas that govern Myanmar or Burma to step down and allow a democratic government to be placed. Yeah, funny. Vietnam, socialist state, but pro-democracy in this situation, huh? Yeah, that's kind of ironic. I think it'd be even more interesting if we could have got a Thailand and Philippines player. I do believe Indonesia is active. Yes, he is a player. Uh, no, he is played by the one and only. Oh, I can't say that name, but yeah. Nephthys? I don't know. <laughs> Well, he hasn't really been too vocal in this game. This game has gone through a lot of argument and stress. Right now, here in France, France is pretty much preparing for end game against, you know, all these different countries. Like, Italy and France had a big argument out of character, and it's boiled over in character now. Of course, it always does. That's what happens when you put a lot of people in a Skype conversation, right? Well, 
We also have over here the U.S. and Mexico broke out in war. No idea what's going on there. Only, you know, physically the U.S. is losing. I, I, I have guesses that the U.S. is angry with the way the game is going, as he obviously is. If you're in this game, you know what I'm talking about. But um, so my guess is maybe he sent one unit to attack Mexico, and really his entire army is like up here or up here or somewhere where away to where Mexico can just stroll through, destroy the world's superpower just to further spiral this game into you know the hell it has become. So pretty much in this one I just wanted to kinda go around the world here. Russia been silent for you know about a day I sent them some messages in diplomacy asking for some stuff just you know RP material and no response also sent them some trades wanting to buy some T90E main battle tanks from Russia to boost the Vietnamese army which is currently made up solely of infantry. We have sent a unit to Bangkok here in Thailand as a uh, really to kind of stand as embassy. We have one in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia as well as one going to Tokyo, China, or Japan. My bad. That was kind of stupid there. Oh well. And, um... I don't think I'm sending one to India. I might have one there. No, that's Japan's. We'll, we'll get one to India eventually. And, uh, maybe Italy. Depends on if these two destroy each other before I get the time to... Anyways... We go in the DE, Daily European, yeah you'll see anonymous messages, OCs are out of character here, oh actually no, the US appears to be winning this war, okay, I guess, I guess he's trying to get stronger, I don't know, here's the drama. All this was against the game rules that everyone agreed on while they applied for the country they wanted to play. Here's Germany. Rule playing on. Applauds to him. So is England or Great Britain, UK, whatever you want to call it. Rule playing on. Thank you. Ethiopia, also thank you. China, here stating that he will continue. Applauds to him. Play by rarity. Um, Afghanistan's playing on thanks to him thank you Ukraine as well nice to see here's France kind of yeah that's uh, yeah he's role playing this but this is from out of character issues everyone wanting to invade him just to end the stupid game Malaysia Rick Wong writing a nice big article for us to read um, I don't know what all this is about, really. I'm guessing some... Oh yeah, here it's a scandal, but... It has to do with business and money and... If you'd like to read it, I'll scroll through this slowly so you have time to pause it. And if you don't, then... Hang tight. So here we have the index of power. Russia is number one, China number two, US number three. Now you may think that the US should be number one, Russia number two, and China number three. Yeah, really. But you know, that's just not how it's worked out with the land shuffle. But if the US takes over Mexico, then maybe they'll take number two, but number one that's that's 
Russia's pretty far ahead. Look, look right here. Mightiest armies, Russia number one, US number two, China number three. Us in Vietnam, which is the Union of Indochina, we are 17th with 2% of the world's military. Okay, we'll take that. We haven't built anything yet. Am I right? So, yeah, that's, that's here for you. And then Russia. Big issue the U.S. has with this is Russia's factories all are in Siberia. 14 of them. Yeah, you may be thinking, uh, Siberia is a wasteland. Yes, it is. And that is the issue with that. Just a lot of drama. Really, I just want to focus on being Vietnam and dealing with the Myanmar si situation. While, you know, building relations with those that are role-playing without drama, not, inc not including Italy. Italy and France, big argument last night, really degraded the situation. Um, I have not heard much from, it from Africa at all. I know Ethiopia posted, Spain is doing something in the Congo. I don't know if that's part of the land swap or if he's doing some peacekeeping mission. I think I saw in the DE. Don't remember. South America's nice and peaceful. Got a second American Mexican war going on here. France preparing for um, assaults from wherever. I don't know. I have no clue. Italy, assumingly. But I think Italy will chicken out. Or if he doesn't chicken out, he's going to wait until someone attacks him, draws troops away from the border, and then he'll go in, try and land grab. Which, yeah, everyone does. No one can say they don't try to land grab. Me, myself, looking at Thailand, Thailand is tasty. You look here at the production, okay, we have stable food, great iron no lumber at all. That's not just because I put it all in iron. We have no lumber in, you know, the jungle covered country of Vietnam. Yeah, that's realistic, huh? We have coal. We have coal. We've put it, um, can't put it all the way down or we'll lose coal. We want to try to balance, yeah. We're about to make some rails too, so let's bump it up to 31, and we'll see how that goes. Oil, good income. Gas, good income. Coal, good enough. No one really uses or needs coal. If you go into stock market, right here. Yeah, everyone's trying to get rid of their coal. Oil, everyone. Yeah, that, that, you see, you see the big price difference. That that's all value right there. Coal, dirt cheap, oil, it'll just continue to grow and grow. Gas, gas is kind of like the second coal, so it's it's going to remain stable around 3 unless someone tries to go 2.9 to sell it, and uh, then it may go down as this could, or someone will buy it and try to sell it for 3.0, make some money off it. But you know, that's just how it goes. Go here. You have your iron. Yeah, iron's pretty critical to have. We luckily don't have to buy it because, you know, it's expensive. Lumber, we do need. So that, that, the price right there, that's, that's not good. Because, you know, if, we, if we'd buy that, that'd be 18000 for 2.7000 If we bought this, it's 50000 50, That's, um, what, a sixth? I'm trying to do math real quick. Yeah, so, if we can find, if we can, if we can acquire a lumber source, that would be big. 
and Thailand looks juicy and sweet to eat because this province right here Phuket I guess is how you call it I don't know but you know double lumber that would help a lot here but you know to get there you'd have to justify a conflict with Thailand which is an AI which so you know that's that's obvious land grabbing well Burma here has voiced intentions or um, what's the word interest to split Thailand with myself and themselves sounds good right well not when all your allies and yourself are not in uh, the friendliest of relations with Burma due to this province being a claim of India and Burma and China if they decided to push that claim which they haven't I don't believe China has any interest down here until he won't he probably won't unless you know I just like completely steamrolled Thailand gained all that and then everyone like land grabbed Burma and you know because that would kinda tip the balance of power although China is massively powerful second most powerful in the game um, so you know if there's a powerful Vietnam he may watch us more and so really if you're making any expansion in this in these kind of games when you're a small country you want to make it quietly and legitimately so and now if rarity watches this he'll be like okay now I gotta watch fog because he's wanting to expand nah not necessarily watch me if you like I know it'll look good but really um, I don't I don't think there's any way that I can justify moving from here to here so really I'm intent uh, see look I'm not losing anything so I'm happy with the situation trying to buy military goods from Russia may may approach China if Russia doesn't um, respond to my order in the next especially 24 hours but I'm thinking I'll only give them 12 more hours or 8 more hours to you know get on and look at it so I may approach China wanting to buy Chinese tanks Malaysia has already told me he's willing to build me fighter jets very nice of him I think I could buy ships from India if I don't want to build them myself I am building a factory here rail here nothing there uh, I'll eventually build a harbor or something there rail I don't know and then rail here and the other factory is going to be where where was I putting it there right here and right here on my factories if you'd like to know that got the Indian Navy and Japanese Navy sitting outside Burma it's part of the tensions we got here Indian military here no garrison here I don't think anything's here or here but I'm pretty sure all this right here fully garrisoned this this will probably be hot spot for a um, Burmese military this right here I think I don't know. I don't know why. I guess he's just putting it there in case I go through Thailand, which I don't think I will. You can read chat if you like. If I'm boring, I don't care. Okay. Alright, well, that's all for now. So uh, drop a like, subscribe, get back to you next time. I can figure out how to stop this. There we go.